Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got another book review for you today. This is actually, I finished more. I did this, this video on the 72 books I read this year, but this book is actually still, I read it in 2016. So really, I think my total count is gonna be like something like 74 or 75. And this is a book that was recommended to me by a lot of people. It's not the typical kind of book that I would read, but it is called Shoe Dog. And it is actually the founding, the story of the founding of Nike, which is really, really interesting. I, I found this book, I, I've obviously I listened to the audio version while I was running, because that's the only way to listen to, to Shoe Dog. And I found this book to be really, really, interesting it i was surprised by how interesting the, the story of the founder of of nike just you know his his describing his struggles and how he started out you know i got this impression from the book like why would you keep doing this why would you keep pursuing this this thing when you're hitting so many obstacles you're not making any money like you you know the the guy he was working he was working a part-time job or full-time job while paying employees to run his company. It was actually a smart thing to do, but I mean, he was doing a lot of work and a lot of effort over many years, flying to Japan, doing all, being stabbed in the back, dealing with all this kind of stuff. And, you know, he just kept on going. And it's amazing. I, I think the, the reason why the story is so amazing is because it shows you that if you just keep on going, you're eventually going to hit success as long as you don't give up. And, and there's some there's some wonderful quotes in there. I'm actually gonna do a video on one of the quotes where he talked about about that a, a tiger hunts best when it's hungry. I think this is you know, awesome. He also t talked about this one point in the book where he got burned out and he said, well, I guess maybe the only cure for burnout is to work harder. And I, you know, I know some people like have this visceral reaction when I say that, but I found that to be true actually in life. And it's, it's kind of crazy, you know, to, to, to see that and to see the actual practical application of that and how that worked. So, I mean, this is a really interesting story just because it, it gives you, it, it, it should be both discouraging and give you hope because it's, it's, it's discouraging in, in the way that how difficult this was, right? It took a long time for Nike to be built. There was a lot of setbacks, a lot of problems, a lot of issues, a lot of things that were just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that he survived this thing or, or dealt with this and, and still carried on. But it's also encouraging because it's like, you know, if you keep on going, you're gonna triumph. And it's just amazing to see how much that he was able to grow and, and build Nike and despite all these setbacks, despite all these people coming against him and attacking him. And, and really, you know, it wasn't like he just had this iron resolve, right? It was more that he was just like, I'm just gonna keep on going. I'm just gonna do what needs to be done. And every every step of the way in the story, it, it really gives me this, this viewpoint of, here's a guy that just kept on doing what needed to be done. And he, and by doing that, he he got to the the point where Nike was, was super successful there there wasn't you know any of this real i mean i'm sure there was soul searching i'm sure it was difficult but you know it wasn't it wasn't necessarily all heroic efforts there are some heroic efforts but it was more of just day in day out year after year he kept on running into problems and 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 smashing through this problem, figuring out what do I need to do in this situation and then just, just going and doing it. And, it. and the outlook was always glum, but then finally, you know, there's this miraculous, it almost seems like an overnight success and, and Nike becomes successful and, it, and it's growing this, this whole time. So I think it's a really encouraging book. I think it's a, just a really fascinating story about about the growth and just, you know, some of the lessons learned. And there's there's some open questions, right? Like, you know, did did this, this guy, I'm forgetting his name, White, what's his name? Bob White, no, I, sorry, I, for, I forgot his name. But anyway, did, did, did he make the right decisions in life? Did he make the right priorities, right? He, he made a lot of mistakes. And so it, it just, there's a lot of, you know, just things to think about, about starting a business, about growing a business, about being successful in life, and, and about just not being sure, right? I think a lot of the pathway, a huge amount of the pathway, you know, this guy, he was not sure. He did not know what success was gonna look like. He didn't know what he was doing, you know, more than half of the time, but he still hit this massive success. And so, you know, to me, the, the biggest takeaway, the biggest story here is that like, 
you don't know what the hell you're doing. You don't know what what you're supposed to do, but you just make the best educated guess that you can and you take action, you go for it, and eventually you're gonna find success if you continually do that, even though you might hit some failures and some stumbling blocks along the way. So I highly recommend the book. Again, it's called Shoe Dog. It's the story of Nike, and it was a really good read. So if you like this video, if you wanna get more of my book reviews, you can always click this button to go to the, the playlist, and don't forget to subscribe to the video down below just click that big button and you will subscribe and you will get all the book reviews that I do every single week I'll talk to you next time take care